Hi, I'm Armando Costilla Fiscal with the Cisco Tech. Today, I want to show you how to configure a pair of Cisco UVE routers with high availability. In this video, I want to explain a few high availability foundational concepts. There is PSTN access that uses an active and standby pair of routers in a SIP trunk deployment between a Cisco Unified Communications Manager and a service provider SIP trunk. A group of redundant interfaces forms a redundancy group. The active and standby routers are connected by a configurable control and data synchronization link. The data synchronization link transfers stateful information to synchronize the stateful database for the calls and the media flows. Each pair of redundant interfaces is configured with the same unique ID number, also known as a redundant interface identifier or RII. A virtual IP address is configured on interfaces that face the internal network and the external network. All signaling is sourced from and sent to the virtual IP address, and external devices such as the Cisco Unified Communications Manager can use the destination IP address for the calls that traverse through the Cisco UVE. Both active and standby routers have the same configuration and connect through a physical switch on the same interface. Both routers face the UCM on the same interface and both routers face the PSTN on the same interface. Now, this topology is mandatory for the cube high availability to work. One cube has a lower IP address across all three interfaces on the same platform. Cube 1 and Cube 2 interface toward the LAN and toward the 1 must terminate on the same switch. The RG control and data interfaces of the Cube HA pair can be connected through a back to back cable or with a switch. It is recommended to use port channel for the RG control and data interfaces for redundancy. The use of multiple interfaces or sub interfaces on either LAN or WAN side is supported. Additional considerations have been listed on this slide. You can pause this video for a moment to review the list or review the list later on. Okay, so let's get started on setting up high availability. First, configure a redundancy group. Configure a name for the redundancy group. Then configure the interface that is used for checkpointing of data traffic and to exchange keep alive and hello messages between the router pair. In this example, GIG001 is the interface and Protocol1 is a protocol instance that is attached to the interface. Then, proceed to set up these same commands under the Cube2 command line interface. Next, configure the following commands at the global level to track the status of the interface. This is interface tracking. The track command is used in RG to track the voice traffic interface state so that the active router initiates switch over after the traffic interface is down. Next, configure RG group tracking on both Q1 and Q2. Now, set up the interfaces. First, configure the interfaces that face the LAN switch on both routers. Use the commands shown to configure the redundancy identifier for the redundancy group, associate the interface with the redundancy group created, and configure the interface for redundancy group control and data. Repeat these same steps for the interfaces that face the WAN switch on both routers. Turn on cube redundancy on both routers. Configure the redundancy group under voice service VoIP. This enables box-to-box -box cube high availability. And last but not least, configure media inactivity feature to clean up any calls that do not disconnect after failover. Finally, you can proceed to reload the router as prompted a moment ago. After the routers come up, you can use the Show Redundancy Application Group 1 command to show the details of redundancy application groups. 
Next, you can use the show redundancy application if MGR group one command to show the virtual IP and virtual Mac for this deployment. Remember, you need to point the attached devices to the cube virtual IP. The IPPBX, Unified Seed Proxy or Service Provider, must route the calls to the cube's virtual IP. Congratulations, you have completed the HA configuration for this pair of cube routers. Thanks for watching.